Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're well. Welcome to this uh, slight haul video. So, um, still in the old house at the moment, but everything looks good for the move ahead, which is excellent. But I've got some uh, extra little bits and bobs, a bit of nostalgia going on as well. Um, so, I thought I'd go through. Also, had a trip to the Lego store in Edinburgh and uh, got a couple of picker bricks. Um, so, they had some kind of cool pieces so I thought I would go uh, for some of these. I was going in for the Creator 3-in-1 Medieval Castle but um, I wanted to try and get the little Adidas Superstar free gift but it only came with um, purchase over £95 um, and they didn't have any in store so uh, I had to go on to lego.com in order to get that but they had some cool pieces on the pick brick wall so I uh, got some of those which will be useful for Duncton. Um, but yeah, there's uh, some eBay and Brooklyn calls in here as well, so we'll uh, go through that and uh, yeah, have a look. It's uh, some quite cool stuff. Hopefully, I can't remember exactly what's in which package, um, but we'll we'll take a look. Yeah, so we uh, pick brick cups. We'll go through. Um, actually, yeah, we'll go through that now. So um, when you do a pick brick cup now, one of the assistants has to do the picking for you, but they also included two scoops of brick in this bag as well so I just got some 2x4 green bricks and 2x2 dark grey bricks because I thought they'd be useful they're always useful and then the actual picker brick is just um, so lots of little tile pieces so just some little cornery pieces uh, I figure they'd be good for uh, just pavements odd pavements going through some uh, green um, foliage kind of stuff for bushes and things like that then there's some more green leaves in there some of the larger pieces kind of the stuff you find in the creator treehouse and some dark tan 2x2 two two tiles which are kind of cool and in this one I'm not going to do it out of work because I'd have to put it back in but in here I got some peach I think they're peach are they? I don't know they're not We'll go with peach, I'm not sure what the official colour is, but they're that pinky peach. Uh, corner pieces as well, because they might be fun to throw into little pathways as well, just to uh, give a bit of an effect. And then uh, one by one sort of square tiles, some yellow autumn -y leaves in there, if you could just see in that. And then some uh, more, uh, some of these little funny dark tan uh, one by two pieces but they're rounded and again more tiles, lots more little one by one tiles. So that's the bigger bricks anyway, which were, will be useful but I'll keep them all in the cups for now. Let me get onto these, these are the interesting ones. Um, so I'll open these up. And I'm not entirely sure really what I'm going to use some of these ones for. I think this is this is a brick link order. Um, so get rid of the bag. I just need to. Oh, it's in a it's in one of these inflatable pillow things. So, oh my goodness! But something well packed. Open. I don't think there's anything else that is identifying. Let's get this out. And what this is, is this is a boat motor. And it should, I think, how does it open up? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, there we go. It unscrews like that. It's got a rubber seal and everything. And that's in really good condition. Um, I kind of have vague memories that these existed, but I don't think I ever actually had one of these. I don't know whether I've got some false memory of a different motor. But I figured this is supposed to be working. I think um, that's supposed to be in better condition, but uh, I think that unscrews. Um, yeah, that unscrews. Does this come out? I don't know if it comes out or not. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. No doubt, I'll find out at a later date. But I think this, which way does this go in? Is there a funny little picture anywhere? 
Is there a plus or a minus anywhere? Does it matter? Oh, yep, yeah, it does. So there we go. We've got marking there, and that shows you where it goes. So put the battery on there, and then screw this in. Oh my word! So there you go. You just that's how you turn it on, just by turning it. Is that? So that works and that sounds really healthy, doesn't it? And then you can put it on the bottom of a boat. I don't have any boat holes with me, otherwise I would uh, be able to uh, see if it fits. But there you go. It's a little boat motor. I'll take the battery out for now. So that's a cool little thing. Maybe you don't know if Lego made them or anything, but um, they do have some Lego boat motors. It came in two sets. Um, sort of like a, I think it was a junior set with a police boat and another set which was a, uh, a catamaran. So we'll go, I did actually, I have, I, have, I have tried to order the catamaran, but um, I haven't had any joy because the Bricklink seller is not, hasn't even tried to pack the order or even acknowledge that I made the order so I think that one's going to get cancelled in the end we shall see it's um oh. this order was from eBay oh my goodness that's really Got another motor there. Oh man, this paper is really horrible. It's like broken apart. Let's see if I can open it. It's broken apart and it's leaving dust everywhere. It's kind of like almost like it's got carpet inside it. It's horrible. Um, let's see if I can open this up. Don't use this to pack anything. This is horrible. It just made everything really dusty. Okay, so this is bits of the catamaran. Buying this motor with these catamaran parts was actually cheaper than some of the motors on Bricklink. I saw it by chance, so I thought I'd just go for it and get it. Um, hang on. I'll give these a quick brush off and then we can see it, but that's, oh, that packaging is horrible. Okay, so this is unpacked and away from the nasty packaging and we've got the motor here. We can check if it works. Let's see. And for some reason there's an, and I think this is part of the set that goes on these, but um, the catamaran obviously only has one set of holes, but this came with two sets, so... Well. Oh, I see, so the screw, okay. So this has got the screw and it's intact, so the way the motor works is that's on and off and stuff like that, so that's how that works. That explains it. So is this... Okay, so that does that as well. I see. So in other words, that, what I did with that and undid it with that screw in shouldn't actually happen so you actually need a little um, screwdriver oh some fingernails just to unscrew this we go we get there we get there we get there that comes out and then that goes there and we put the battery in that way see if it goes on as well yeah, there we go. That's another working motor, so two for two, not bad. And this had the rudder that's just outside, and it's a little bit, a little bit uh, damaged, but I think that should just go in there, and then you have a working rudder. Cool. So, so far, two working boat motors. I think the police set isn't a catamaran set. 
because um, this one on the catamaran set there's kind of like a technic piece and it kind of dangles off in the middle but the other set is a junior set and I think that's got a normal boat hole so I'm hoping that the boat holes that just clips in but I don't know I bought some anyway I just thought it was cool to have a, a different type of motor and this is a bit different this was me getting really nostalgic because I remember when I was a kid we used to have one. Okay, it's a little bit dirty, but it's supposed to be complete. So you can see it's got two keys. So judging by that, you can probably guess. But this is a wind-up motor. I can't remember what set number it is or anything like that. The one thing I did remember as soon as I ordered this is I think one thing that annoyed me about this set when I was a kid is I couldn't put train wheels on it. So these wheels are just stuck. You can't do anything with those. It'd be interesting to see if this actually works. But you can make it into a, it's just a clockwork. I don't know, clockwork's probably the wrong one. It's wind up, I suppose is more accurate, but we'll see. I don't think that's a good sound, is it? Oh no. Not great. Here we go. Oh no, there we go. It's working. For some reason that one is not turning. That's not great, is it? That's not fantastic. Oh! I'm going to break it on. There we go. For some reason this wheel's not... I think it's a I think it's part seen its best. But if you didn't know Lego did a wind-up motor, now you do. But yeah, I think the spring in there maybe is <laughs> best, but that was just I saw it and I wondered if they were available and they I can't remember how much it was. There you go, a wind-up motor that isn't great anymore because it's probably so old and been used and abused by some child that absolutely loved it when they had it. So um, I can try and open it up and we can see what's inside one day. I probably will do that because that's not really a functioning motor at the moment. So see if the mechanism's repairable. I don't know. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, the slightly different haul for today anyway. Um, these are, uh, yeah, this was just, um, I went looking for this because I know they existed, um, but I just wanted to see if there were any available. There are, obviously, but this one's, well, I, I kind of would have been surprised if it would have worked really well. It was in working condition, they sold it as working condition. It does kind of work. Um, obviously, a wind up motor like this after, I don't know, I guess this is about, I can't remember, 30 years old or something, 30, 40 years old. It's, it would have been released in the 80s, I think. So, um, for it to be working and in really good nick, I would have been surprised. Um, and I'm not going to buy a, a new one. This was just purely a, going down memory lane a bit and seeing uh, seeing if they still existed. But I, I can, I prob I'll probably, <laughs> saying that, I'll probably take it apart and see what, what it actually looks like inside because I never did it when I was a kid and see if it's actually repairable if there's any way of making it better. Probably not, but we'll find out. Um, and these, these motors for boats, um, yeah, I'd be interested to see if there's, uh, if, if it does work with the, um, with, with the holes that we get. So, um, that'll be good. That'll be good to find out. It'd be good to get some boats that are actually motorised. I don't know how I'm going to use them. I've got ideas about it, but, uh, all my ideas normally outstrip reality of what I can actually do or the time I have or anything like that but you know moving to a new house is an excuse to see what railways are possible and uh, if I can mix boats in with the railways then that's always gonna be a good thing possibly not such a big pool as I had on the last video but um, that was good fun I, th I thought it was good fun anyway having a train launching boats um, and of course the Coast Guard boats were the only ones that sunk so or flipped over so there you go uh, I've got a few extra little bits for Dunkton and I'm building the village 
layout, village, I don't know what it's going to be like. It's going to be mainly a railway, I suppose, and then we'll work out what to do. It's not going to be a typical town, city kind of thing. I have got modulars, but I don't want it to be a... We'll see what it's going to be. I'll lay it out first, and then we'll find out which direction it goes in the end. Um, yeah, once I get the space sorted for doing all of that sort of thing, so... Anyway, this was a haul, another video. Good fun making another video as well. Uh, yeah. Moving house, got to pack things up and everything, but the cameras and the uh, this sort of stuff I can uh, keep out and just carry light. So hopefully I'll be able to make a video um, so for every week coming up. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I have got more stuff to do hauls on anyway, so I can do these. I know hauls on on the greatest videos, but... Um, they will, well, they, they add up to a purpose, and the purpose is building Duncton and railways and things like that, and hopefully a bit of entertainment as well as this and just me talking at you. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, thanks for all the really good comments on the last video on the Trix Bricks Bridge. Um, I didn't quite know what I was doing. Or I, I never know what I'm doing, let's face it. Um, I didn't know what I was looking at when I opened it. They just... Uh, sent me the package but now I know what it is uh, I probably might um, my intention is is to do a uh, an actual proper review so we'll review it properly and go through what bits are what and I'll compare it with one of my bridges that I use and my bridges aren't detailed so they're not supposed to sort of like look realistic um, it's just a it's just a way of building a bridge for me and, and getting a train from one place to another and making things a bit interesting so, uh, or at least most of my bridges aren't supposed to look realistic. Just because it's for a quick railway that gets set up and torn down again. So it needs to be light and it needs to be, uh, well, it just needs to be able to do what a basic bridge does. So anyway. But yeah, there you go. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the really nice comments on the last video. And I will see you in the next one.